And today I'm going to detail how niacin combats and even restores damage from radiation exposure. Short-term exposure to high-dose radiation, like what you would get from an x-ray machine, can result in injury to the endothelial lining of blood vessels, along with increased inflammation and excessive blood clotting. Niacin, and especially original flushing niacin, also known as nicotinic acid, exhibits numerous effects that attack both inflammation and excessive blood clotting. Niacin also, as you already know, sharply reduces blood levels of common inflammatory cytokines like tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin-6, interleukin-1-beta, and interleukin-8, while also repairing damage to the interior lining of our blood vessels, the endothelial cells of which would otherwise certainly suffer from radiation-induced damage. And these inflammatory cytokines are the very same ones that are elevated following radiation exposure. Levels of the inflammatory cytokine interleukin-1-beta in particular increase significantly in the presence of radiation and remain elevated long after the initial exposure. Time is, of course, extremely critical with radiation exposure, so the sooner you can begin treating it, the better. And niacin's restorative protection from radiation is a great example of why I say that the best results with niacin are always seen with consistent, ongoing, daily use. Niacin also famously elevates the beneficial high-density lipoprotein, or HDL cholesterol, better than anything else. And consistently elevated HDL, through reducing tissue deposition of dietary cholesterol, guards against the development of the coronary artery disease that can follow radiation exposure. Niacin is also the primary precursor for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD, one of the body's most critical coenzymes, and NAD is consumed in enormous quantities during any kind of excessive physical stress, and this definitely includes radiation exposure. Immediately after a radiation-induced injury, our cells activate metabolic enzymes known as poly-ADP ribose polymerases, or PARPs, and also restorative proteins known as sirtuins. And while all of them require plentiful NAD to function, the most NAD-consuming of all are known as PARP-1 and sirtuin-1. And both of these, when fueled with abundant NAD, do the restorative maintenance of repairing mitochondria, telomeres, and DNA. So if you're not replenishing NAD levels regularly through daily intake of, ideally, original flushing niacin, the enormous quantities of NAD needed to fuel these PARP enzymes and sirtuins can cause a rapid depletion of NAD, leading to accelerated cell death. DNA strand breakage, in particular, occurs very quickly after exposure to radiation and is also an immediate trigger for PARP1 activity. So, again, this is another reason why daily replenishment of NAD through niacin supplementation is so important, because higher NAD at the time of damage then facilitates enhanced repair at the site of damage. Sirtuin-1, for its part, reduces the activity of P53, thus rendering cells far less susceptible to apoptosis, even in the presence of heavily damaging and P53-inducing stimuli, like radiation. And while P53 ordinarily plays a key role in controlling cellular division and cell death, excessive P53 accelerates cell death, rapid premature aging, and also the likelihood of cancer. Niacin's famous flush, which is both a dilation of the blood vessels directly beneath the skin and an aggressive thermodynamic extraction of inflammation as heat on the skin's surface, both looks and feels extremely inflammatory, especially a large dose taken on an empty stomach. So if you're completely new to taking niacin, then it's best to start with a low dose, like 100 milligrams or less, especially if you're sensitive, and definitely take it with food. You will grow accustomed to the niacin dose you're taking, and when that happens, you'll no longer flush at that particular dose. So if you're taking niacin daily, then this is the best time to gradually increase your dose if you feel that's appropriate for you. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.